Good morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, Mr. Peter, what's up with you? Haven't you seen my hair? It's so long. Well, why don't you get it cut? Because the barbers are all shut, oh, of course. Yes. You know what? Mr. Monkey offered to cut my hair for the price of two bananas. Wow. I wonder if you cut my hair. Only thing is, I've only got one banana. Yes, but would you want Mr. Monkey to cut your hair? Y yes, because he's a professional barber, isn't he? And he's in our bubble at home, so he can cut my hair. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens with that. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, coming up later today, we have another special guest. So watch out for that. And we also have our competition at the end. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Yeah. Okay, everyone, now it's time to play a game. Let's play Simon Says. Okay, everyone, up you get, stand on your feet. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Simon Says, stand up. Ah, you already are, fantastic. Okay, Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, rub your tummy. Simon Says, do the floss. I can't do it very well. Are you doing it? I hope you are. Simon Says, jump up and down. Simon Says, turn around. Sit down. Ah, uh, did you sit down? You are going to be out if you sat down. Okay, that was a, a warm up. Okay, are we ready to go again? Simon Says, pat your head. Simon says, touch your elbow. And your other elbow. Ah, did I catch you right again? Okay, those of you that are still in, let's keep going. Simon says, grab a banana. People like to laugh at me, but it don't really matter. Cause my name is Rolling Stones and I can drive a tractor. Who are, who are, who are, who are, who are? Happy birthday to me. I gotta wash my hands again. You gotta do it while you're singing the happy birthday song. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. I needed the number one, but I did a number two. <laughs> oh, that's better. I really needed that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, well, it's nice to see you. You're very welcome here. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name's Mr. Stones, but you can call me Roland. That's right, Roland Stones. Uh, while you're here, why don't I show you what I've been up to? Come on, come over here. Follow my wellies. Follow my wellies this way. Oh, sit in my nice comfy chair. I think I might show you what I've been up to. So I got myself a pot. Nice little bit of earth in there, see? What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a nice hole 
just so there's plenty of, plenty of room for the seed to go in. So, quickly dig a hole in there. I don't know how much you can see, it's a bit far away in there. <laughs> dig a hole in there, see? And then I've got myself a little seed up here. It's so tiny, I don't even suppose you can see it. I'm gonna put that in there. And we're going to put that, put the earth around it. And then of course what I gotta do, just put a little bit of water in there, not too much. Not too much, just, just a bit for now, just to, that's probably going to do for now. What I'll do in a minute, I'll probably put this indoors on the windowsill. So, sowing the seeds, a bit like praying. You've got to put your seed inside there, and you've got to let it do its stuff, alright? Don't dig it all up and throw it away and wonder what's happening. Sometimes, there might be little roots growing all underneath. That's what you've got to think about. So when you pray and you talk to Daddy God and you maybe you ask him for something, well, don't worry if you don't see the right thing the very next day. Things will be happening underneath that you don't quite understand, you know. God's always moving, even if we don't see it and even if we don't feel it straight away, God's always moving. So keep asking him, kids, keep talking to him, keep praying. And expect that at some point, the seed that you planted in prayer will actually grow up. Just like this one is going to grow up one day. That's all from me for now. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens. Tell God about everything. Ask and pray. And give thanks to Him. Philippians 4 verse 6 Dear God, thank you that I can talk to you about everything. Thank you that when I pray you start working. Help me to remember to talk to you this week. Amen. Hey, Mr. Monkey! I heard that you are an expert barber and are great at cutting people's hair. Well, my hair needs a cut. And as you're in our bubble, can you cut my hair for me, please? And you know what? I will give you one super duper banana. What do you reckon, eh? Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh, please, Mr. Monkey. I've only got one banana. It's a super special banana. It's yellow, green with some brown dots. Your favourite. And I've even opened it for you. What do you say? Ooh, ooh. Oh, very good. Here is your banana, but you don't get it until you've cut my hair, okay? Do a good job. What lovely weather it is today. Mr. Monkey, I managed to persuade him to cut my hair for one banana! Hey! Yes, I can see that! I'm guessing he didn't show you in a mirror. No, he didn't have a mirror with him today. A bit strange, but you know, mm. he always does a good job. And he's always done a good job. Yeah, hmm. Well, moving swiftly on, it's time to announce last week's competition winner! Woo! So, last week Mr Peter was reading from a book of the Bible. Which book were you reading from, Mr Peter? Ah, well, the book begins with the letter M. So, was it Mark? No. Matthew? No. Malachi? No. What was it then? It was the book of Micah. Ah, well, no one actually guessed Micah, but the closest was Grace. You guessed Matthew. Hey, so, well, well done, done Grace. Grace. You have won last week's prize. Bag of sweets on its way to you. That's right. 
So this week, in keeping with the theme with Mr. Stones and his seeds, we would like you to guess how many seeds are in this packet. So comment below the video and let us know how many sunflower seeds you think are left in this packet. For your chance to win the sweets this week. Okay, well, that's all we've got time for this week. Um, Mr. Peter, I think you should go and have a look in the mirror. Really? I think so. Okay, I'll go and have a look. I'll say goodbye to everyone now. See you next week, everybody. Wait for it. Mr. Monkey! Oh dear, Mr. Monkey's in trouble. Anyway, have a great week and we will see you next Sunday. Bye! You can always talk to God. You can always talk to God.